Hello, everyone. As Chancellor of Queen's University, it is my honor to congratulate our winter 2020 graduates. And because, yes, it takes a village, congratulations as well to your family, friends, and the entire Queen's community. This year marks 175 years of Queen's, and I wish I could be in Belfast to celebrate this milestone and congratulate you in person. But as you know, nothing is more important than doing our part to stop the spread of this virus. And I'm so grateful to everyone at Queen's for your commitment to doing just that. I know this is not how any of us pictured your last year at Queen's, but that does not make this occasion or any of your achievements any less significant. In fact, I would argue the circumstances in which you have completed your studies make your achievements even more remarkable. You've shown incredible resilience, flexibility, and determination in the face of unprecedented circumstances. When I was a little girl, my mother Dorothy taught me that life isn't about what happens to you. It's about what you do with what happens to you. So class of 2020, you will be remembered for graduating during a pandemic, but you will also be remembered for the ways you responded to this crisis with creativity and compassion. You're graduating in a challenging moment to be sure, but no one is better equipped to meet this moment than you, a generation of critical thinkers, problem solvers and entrepreneurs. And it fills me with hope to know how prepared each of you is to chart your own path forward and to help build a better future for all of us. Class of 2020, everyone at Queens is very proud of you. And we cannot wait to see how you will make your mark on the world. So congratulations again. And I wish you every success in what I know will be a brighter future. Today is a special occasion as you celebrate the conclusion of your studies. On behalf of Queen's University, I would like to congratulate you all in reaching this very significant milestone. I know that you have all worked extremely hard to reach this point and you should be proud, very proud. You're graduating in a year that has seen unprecedented change across the world. But you're also graduating in a special year for our university as we celebrate our 175th anniversary. Since 1845, our world-leading researchers, pioneering students and inspirational alumni have made a real difference to society here in Northern Ireland and indeed across the world. You now join that talented and high-achieving Academy of Queen's alumni who continue to shape the world in which we live. As a graduate, you'll always be part of the Queen's community. It's a community that I am immensely proud of, not least because of how our students and staff have responded to the challenges of 2020. Our staff and students have adapted rapidly to new ways of working and learning, and our researchers have been playing their part in global efforts to understand to treat, to manage the COVID-19 pandemic. It's also a community that will play a key role in our society and our economy as we recover from this pandemic. And as Queen's graduates, you'll be at the very heart of that recovery. I wish you continued success and look forward to hearing about your many achievements in the years ahead. Congratulations again on reaching this incredible milestone and I do hope you've enjoyed the virtual graduation and have the ability to celebrate with your family and friends. In the role of Principal of St Mary's University College, I am pleased to be part of this online graduation celebration. This evening, the college and the university recognise the achievements of postgraduate students in education and undergraduate students in initial teacher education. The online format is one of the many examples of how communities all over the world have adapted to the unusual times in which we find ourselves today as a consequence of the global pandemic. I have no doubt that the various restrictions which are necessary in the world of higher education these days have impacted on the lives of MED, BED and diploma students. 
Nevertheless, the graduates have demonstrated resilience in progressing successfully with their studies to the point where they are to receive degrees and diplomas from Queen's University. A few years ago, I had the opportunity to visit the National Civil Rights Museum in Memphis, Tennessee. It is located at the very place where Dr. Martin Luther King, an American Baptist minister and activist, was shot dead on April the 4th, 1968. The place has a real sense of learning and engagement, and it encouraged me to find out a little bit more about how Dr. King saw the role and benefits of higher education for students in his particular time and place. As a student of Murhouse College in Georgia, he wrote an article entitled The Purpose of Education for the University Newspaper. Even at a very young age, his writing demonstrated both a broad intellect and a deep understanding of the challenges faced by his society at the time. His conclusion on the nature and benefits of a true higher education remain as relevant today as they were in the 1950s. Dr. King wrote, we must remember that intelligence is not enough. Intelligence plus character, that is the goal of a true education. The complete education gives one not only the power of concentration, but worthy objectives upon which to concentrate. This quotation from Dr. King is particularly relevant for teachers and those who will soon enter the teaching profession. This is because our schools are the settings for worthy objectives which should be addressed for the good of society. And I'm thinking of challenges such as special educational needs, educational underachievement, pastoral issues, and issues around mental health. Well-qualified and dedicated teachers play a vital role each and every day they go to work, and society has to give that much greater recognition. But let's return to the core purpose of this event, which is to celebrate the success of our students here at St. Mary's. Through your own endeavors, and with the support of tutors, families, colleagues, and friends, you're able to graduate with the award to which you are entitled. In a virtual way, I now present candidates for the degree of Master of Education at St. Mary's University College. In developing physical education, school sport and coaching science, Kieran McCaffrey and Sean Conway. In digital education, Connor Gilmore, Jodie Musson and Niall Kerr. In early years education, Sinead Midlinen. In educational management, Ivan Lavery. In leadership for learning, Anya McCormick, Barry McCulloch, Charlene Murray, Charlotte McDonough, Claire McConville Walker, Connor Daly, David McEntee, Emma Kelly, Francine Walls, Amelda Meehan, John Conlon, Leah Hunt, Marissa Higgins, Natalie McCone, Niall Sludden, Richard Cranston, and Sinead Kearney. In leadership in Catholic schools, Ashleen McParlin, Michelle Furry, and Paul McVeigh. In pastoral issues, Brona McGreevy and Claire McLeave. In special education, Amanda Donnelly, Anne Dorian, Kifa Taylor, Catherine Cadden, Catherine Donnelly, Danielle Scally, Emma Linden, and Trudy McAteer. And for the degree of Bachelor of Education, Daniel Dorian, Kerry Morgan, and Rachel McFeely. And for the Postgraduate Diploma in Education Studies, Sarah Teig. In Irish and Irish Medium Education, Aidan Geary. In Leadership for Learning, Shea Flanagan. In Leadership in Catholic Schools, Christiana McGuinness. In Special Education, Kathleen Conlon. And for the Postgraduate Certificate in Education Studies, Declan Lawler, Rachel McCaffrey and Sarah Morrison. Congratulations to you all. A very warm welcome everyone, especially to you, our graduate class of 2020, to your families and friends. This is not the graduation you were expecting. Today we are missing the personal touch, the experience and excitement of graduation in the Whitlow Hall. Putting on your gown, 
walking across the stage to well-deserved applause, mingling with fellow students, family, friends, over tea and mince pies in a jazz-filled marquee. But though, though this is a virtual celebration, it is no less real. Today is a celebration. It's a celebration of your personal journey and achievements. And today formally marks a milestone in your professional life as a teacher. To be a teacher is to belong to a noble and privileged profession. I don't have to tell you how challenging the work involved in teaching is, nor do I have to tell you how rewarding it is. And in this remarkable and unprecedented year, teachers' skills have never been so valued and so valuable. We have seen the very best of our profession. As teachers support the holistic development of a diverse range of learners, prioritising their safety and well-being while adapting to new working conditions that have required innovative solutions as traditional pedagogies have shifted and blended with digitised learning. In this unique context, undertaking part-time study whilst working full-time and managing all the other commitments you have in your lives has required perseverance, dedication and resilience. This is what Peter referred to when he cited Martin Luther King that it is intelligence plus character that is a go the goal of a true education. And you have shown great character. What you have achieved in this extraordinary year is remarkable. And we at St Mary's are very proud of you and what you have accomplished. And you should feel truly proud of yourself and your achievements. As this graduation celebration draws to a close, I want to say that it has been my very great pleasure getting to know you, working with you and sharing your professional development journey with you. I and all at St Mary's congratulate each and every one of you. We warmly and sincerely applaud you and wish you every success in the coming years. I wish you and those you are celebrating with a special and memorable graduation day. Warmest congratulations.